Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to comment quickly on my mentoring program versus my courses. People have been asking me this question, so I thought I would get into it. First and foremost, the mentoring program is my most advanced, my most comprehensive training. You're literally, literally apprenticing under me. It's a literal apprenticeship. Uh, we've been running this thing for about a year now and I am able to handle more people. I've been slow to take on new people. I haven't been advertising it much simply because I want to make sure that given my schedule, I was able to make sure everybody got the, uh, the attention they needed. So I'm able to do it. So I'm taking on new people now. The difference between the mentorship program and just taking one of my standard, one of my courses or many of my courses is all the extras beyond the course material. So with the mentorship, you have everything. You have access to all the courses, all the future courses. It's lifetime access, access to the certifications. This program, the mentorship program, is, I call it a mentorship program rather than a boot camp because I want to express how with the mentoring, it's much more than just learning to code. I thought it made sense that I really teach you everything that you need to know. So I'm taking my decades of experience as a professional developer and tech entrepreneur, et cetera, et cetera. My life experience is poured into these programs. So I have all my core courses at JavaScript and the Python and the PHP and the web stack and system design, et cetera, et cetera. But I also get into uh, communications and psychology and interpersonal skills how to prepare for a job, how to think about job interviews, how to think about working out, what, what, what can you do, what do you think about your career, for example, how to, you know, how to navigate the whole career choices you may make. Some people may want to get a job, they may want to work for large, huge organizations, which is a whole different game than working for small companies or startups, which is a whole another game altogether, or maybe freelancing, or maybe starting your own business. My goal here is to teach you how to be a professional developer and a professional uh, to take you way beyond code. One of the th concepts, for example, is I'm trying to drive, I drive this in my YouTube videos, about how important it is to not think of yourself as a JavaScript developer or a Python developer or a Java developer or to think of yourself, I'm a MERN person or I'm a PHP Laravel person, etc. You have to transcend that. When you think of yourself in those narrow confines, those boxes that you're putting yourself into, first of all, you're limiting yourself. Second of all, it's not realistic. Ask any experienced developer in your career, you're gonna be pivoting and moving from different languages and different frameworks over time. It's just the nature of the game. When you are a professional developer, your part of your job is actually to learn new things, to be able to learn new things and to be able to assess projects and then be able to pivot and utilize the technology stack that makes sense for that project. In my career, I have written software in eight or nine languages over the years. Not in one project, but this project I did PHP, and this project I did Java, this project we did at Ruby, this project with Python, etc., etc., etc. So when you learn to transcend beyond that I am a JavaScript developer, or I am a Python developer, you're literally transcending that. It, it takes you to a new level of ability, which maximizes your chances of landing work, getting paid higher, advancing your career, being successful, what you do. Ultimately, the mentoring program brings everything together. All my life experiences, not just with code and business and psychology and communications, but even money management. I have a course in there called Money and it teaches you uh, 15 or so basic rules and strategies, ways of thinking about it so that you can find yourself within a short period of time on a glide path where you can get, you can get rid of that, that monkey on your back about being worried about finances. I want to free you of that psychologically speaking and you know, well, financially speaking. So the courses are fine. I've had many people move ahead and get jobs and do very well just with the courses. You can just check out my reviews on, just go to Google My Business or just type in studiobook.com and you find all the reviews there. It just depends whether you want that full apprenticeship experience, whether you want my eye on what you're doing, 
because you can come in every two weeks and join and participate with the Zoom meetings, and ask questions, get some feedback on your site or on your resume, ask questions about projects you may be having with clients or jobs you may be seeing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's lots of opportunity available for you in that regard. Anyway, they're both good, they're both viable. I put up the mentorship program so that I could provide that holistic experience. I learned how to code and I learned what I've learned over the years through hard experience and drawing a little bit of knowledge from this person, a little bit of knowledge that that person. I'm trying to bring it all together in a concise way, in a palatable way, so that it makes sense for you. Uh, so it's much more easy to consume. Back in the 90s, the problem was access to information. Now with Google and Stack Overflow and all the websites and all the resources that are out there, and YouTube is one of them, a, bit, a huge one, um, and all the podcasts, the problem today is not access to information. The problem today is the filtering of the information and the simplification. So my job as a teacher is to do two things for you, to simplify and to filter. So there you go. I hope I've answered that question. Um, that's the difference between a mentoring program it's, and taking the individual courses or all the courses. You get that, that interaction with me, the mentoring group, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can go look at the benefits. It's up to you what you prefer to do. And uh, that's about it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.